G'day Cloud Gurus and welcome to this week's episode of Azure This Week. This week we'll look at three services from Azure as well as an announcement that you might not expect. These include Azure Service Fabric Mesh now in public preview, Azure Security Center integration in public preview, and the Azure File Sync which is now in general availability. And then in the end, a new feature for the Azure Cloud Shell. So much goodness this week. We'll kick off with the biggest news of the week, the public preview of Azure Service Fabric Mesh. Now, Azure Service Fabric is a highly scalable distributed systems platform for building and managing scalable microservices and container-based applications for both Windows and Linux. Microsoft themselves even uses this technology in parts of the Azure infrastructure. Now, at Build 2018, Microsoft announced the Azure Service Fabric Mesh, which is an extension of Service Fabric, allowing developers to deploy and operate containerized applications without having to manage VMs, storage, or networking configuration. After some months in private preview, everyone can now get to taste the mesh goodness. The Azure Security Center is now available as a public preview as part of your normal subscription experience. Easily enable it and it will help you assess the security state of resources and then provide recommendations to mitigate those risks. You get a unified view of security across all your on-premises and cloud workloads. It includes intelligent threat detection, which constantly monitors your resources and uses machine learning to always be at its peak. The newly added security tab provides a quick view into the security posture of your subscription, enabling you to discover and assess the security of your resources in that subscription and take action. Azure File Sync replicates files from your on-premises Windows Server to an Azure File Share. With Azure File Sync, you don't have to choose between the benefits of cloud and the benefits of your on-premises file server. You can have both. Azure File Sync enables you to centralize your file services in Azure while maintaining local access to your data. Having a copy of the data in the cloud enables you to nearly instantly recover from the loss of server with the fast disaster recovery feature. No matter what happens to your local server, a bad update, damaged physical disk, or something worse, Azure File Sync will keep a fully resilient copy of your data. Simply connect your new Windows server to your existing sync group and your namespace will be pulled down right away for use. Simple. Check out the video in the link in the resources below to get all the details on Azure File Sync, which is now generally available. The Azure Cloud Shell, giving users a cloud-native command line environment from any device in the world, is now embedded inside Visual Studio Code. Try the new Cloud Shell editing experience today by navigating to shell.azure.com or portal.azure.com and just type code dot. That is all we have time for on this episode of Azure This Week. To recap, we looked at Azure Service Fabric Mesh, allowing developers to deploy and operate containerized applications without having to manage VM storage or networking configuration. We had a look at the Azure Security Center integration with the Azure portal to keep you on top of your security state of your resources. We had a look at Azure File Sync, which is now generally available and lets you centralize your file services in Azure while maintaining local access to your data. And finally, the Azure Cloud Shell editor in VS Code, giving you access to an Azure command line environment in your favorite editor. So see you next week for much more Azure Splendidness. Keep being awesome, Cloud Gurus. Oh,